you know, I've, as a professional, it it certainly is because we are in we're in a performance based business. Um, but at, but at the end of the day, like when you look back at things as a whole, um, life is just much more about winning and losing. And so for me, um, you know, I enjoy being at the racetrack a lot more when I'm competitive. Certainly, um, it is way more enjoyable to get on the plane on Sunday night after a good run than it is when you have a bad day. Um, but even that is, is temporary. You get to the shop on Monday and Tuesday and you're already shifted focus to the next week. And it sounds like you want to mentor drivers as well. Uh, yeah, I would enjoy that. And then, and, and, you know, there's been a lot of surprising conversations that I've had over the last four to six months about the need for that. Just young guys coming up, um, you know, that, that have a lot of um, talent and just need to you know, have a little bit of help and coaching along the way to speed up that learning curve. And so I would enjoy that. I think that would be a lot of fun for me to, to give back and to help some of these young guys. I had it for me, right? I had Mike McLaughlin uh, invested a lot in me when I was a young guy and really taught me a lot just about, you know, how to be on the racetrack, but even off the racetrack, just being a good person. So I've enjoyed um, having Mike around in my corner when I was younger. And I think that, you know, that would be a, a really enjoyable job. You know, Kevin's been the epitome of, of what it looks like to, to be driven and to be successful. Um, you know, his work ethic. I think that's what most people don't see. You, you see the Kevin Harvick on Sunday when the, when the cameras turn on. But a lot of people don't see the Kevin Harvick behind the scenes. And just the, the focus that he has and the work ethic and how he rallies his troops and, and makes everybody rise to the level that he wants them to. Apologies if you already asked this, but will yeah. Phoenix be it or could we see you make select starts in the future? No, I could I could potentially make some starts here and there in the future. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, like our, our announcement said, Phoenix will be it for me in the 10 car with Stuart Haas racing. Gotcha. And knowing that the Fords are getting a new nose and body next year, was there any want to no. try and run that? No, you know, I think... I can't make decisions based on that. I gotta make decisions on life and what my work-life balance looks like for my family and stuff like that. So prayed a lot about it and just felt like it was, it was time.